I'm Chilus Point for Cadred.org. I'm here outside the lovely Limericks once again. And joined by a lovely man, it's Cloud from uh, Team Alternate, or Alternate Attacks to some of the lay people. Um, first question I'll ask you is you're a Home Story Cup veteran. I think this is your fourth, isn't it? Or is this the fifth? Uh, Have the you fifth. been to all of them? Uh, I've been to every Home Story Cup. Uh, Besides the first one, okay. so yeah. So, yeah. so um, what is it about this tournament that that keeps you coming back? Well, you know, it's it's just fun. I mean, the atmosphere is different. Usually, when you're at the tournament, there's just like admins that don't know you, and you just you just play the tournament, and then it's over. But here, like they take care of you, then it's so friendly, and you know everybody, and it's all you get to cast whenever you want to. You you can do whatever you want to, you you can drink when you're done with your friends. It's just fun, it's just so relaxed and and it's so unique that everyone wants to come here pretty much. Does it help you think that Take, being a former player, he, he knows what players want and he knows what players want to do in their spare time? Is is that a factor in why it's so good? Yeah, I know Take very well and he just does it for passion. I mean, uh, of course there's money on the line, but he doesn't really think it that way. He just likes to have this kind of job, and that's why uh, he still keeps his passion, he still keeps playing, and he's also a very good player in StarCraft 2. That's why I think he's able to do such a great job at Home Storica. Talking about yourself, I know you're probably a bit disappointed right now because you've gone out of the tournament on one map, uh, which I know obviously when you have four in a group, it, it can happen, it, it does happen. But is that really disappointing for you? Because you would have had high hopes coming into this. Well, you know, I, I practice a lot lately and uh, right now, if you ask any other pro gamer, they think I'm like a really, really good player. But the, the game since last patch uh, got fucked up a lot. And actually, my race is just losing against, the, against Zerg. And, I got two Zergs in my group, so I just lost to them. And the other player, who's also a very good British Protoss, uh, I, I won that match, even though he was probably the, the hardest opponent in the group. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm disappointed, but I'm honestly, I don't care because I know I did my best. And if Blizzard did not, is not able to balance games, then it's their fucking fault, honestly. Well, let's talk about that because I, I've obviously read a lot of your comments in the past about the g way the game is currently balanced uh, you know it, it, do you really think that that is a, a factor in in your defeat so some people might say that's an excuse well uh, I truly believe so it it could be an excuse but even if it was I don't think so mm. so that, that's what I really think, and if you look at the latest results, like everywhere, then Terran is, is just doing shit everywhere, so... Yeah, this, this time, really, I think uh, we will need to wait until they fix it, because I'm not the only one to complain about this. Um, does that make Heart of the Swarm uh, something you're looking forward to, then? Yeah, definitely. I think after, uh, Heart of the Swarm, sorry, it's going to be... <laughs> It's going to be pretty fun, and I think it's going to be like interesting. They're going to add more more units that are going to to make the game more difficult to play. And if the game is more difficult to play, uh, then the the better players will win more. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with it, and I'm really looking forward to to what they're going to do with it. Um, I mean, is that kind of going to be uh, a platform for you to kind of reset and rethink what, what you want to do? I mean, you'll have seen a sneak preview of some of the units. Do you already have some ideas of, about how you're going to play differently when the game comes out? Have you already been pre-planning your strategy? Well, not really because they are going to change a lot of things. So, uh, But I think the, the mine, the, there's going to be a mine that you can just plant uh, wherever and it explodes doing AE damage. It's going to be pretty, pretty strong and it's going to be like, the, I think, the core Terran unit. So I'm looking forward to use this and have this interesting and yeah, interesting unit. Um, in terms of uh, overall with, with Team Alternate, it's, it's been a bit of a disappointing tournament, I would say, for, for the players so far. Uh, do you kind of share that kind of grief, if you like, that, that, that upset when your teammates don't do as well? Are you guys pretty close and, and tight-knit in that way? Yeah, I'm a really good friend with Sake 
and uh, also with Dark Force. Uh, Delphi is not here, so uh, it doesn't matter right now. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm really sad about Sake because I know he doesn't practice much, but he's very talented, and I know he cares. Dark Force, on the other hand, has been playing Diablo 3 for like <laughs> I don't know two months, so I'm not really sure if I should be sad for him. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you didn't get tempted by Diablo 3 at any point, did you not? I played the first three days without sleeping with my friends <laughs> and I had a very important match uh, during that period. So after I didn't sleep for two days, I had this match against the Korean and I got destroyed so easy. <laughs> I was so tired and then when it finished, I just kept playing Diablo 3. But, but after three days, uh, I didn't play anymore. So. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you got cured of your addiction. Um, in terms of what's going to be you know, next uh, online for you, uh, I know you've been doing a lot of kind of VODs and, and that kind of thing that you like to focus on. Um, it seems to be a little bit different to what other people do uh, in terms of their online content. So do you have any kind of plans to you know, do anything a bit more conventional or, or is there anything new in the pipeline? Well, I, I've been doing a vlog that uh, talked about casters and how bad they are their job. So, <laughs> yeah. Did you make a lot of friends with that? Did that make you popular? Many friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. But uh, I think what I'm like, what people think about me is that I'm very, I'm very straight. I just uh, say what I think because that's how I like to be. So they just told me I should. I should share my opinion with my with my video logs and I will keep doing that. I, I like it and I think the, it could help the community improve. I mean, it could raise awareness on some issues and it could help me uh, being more objective, uh, seeing the other people's opinions. So I think it's going to be interesting, but I'm and still like my main focus is, is just be the, the best pro gamer I can become. And I really think I have a lot of potential. So I, I believe in myself and I will mostly keep practicing and trying to win uh, tournaments. Um, so what's next in terms of competing? Where are we going to see clouds next? Obviously not here because the weather's been absolutely ridiculous, but you know, where are you going to be? Where are you going to be uh, competing? Well, uh, I'm competing in German APS, which is like the, the main German tournament uh, every time. So right now the, the summer season is ongoing. Mm -hmm and I'm doing pretty okay in the qualifiers. I should be safe for the top eight and then there's gonna be like the playoffs. So that is one of the tournaments. And then the next one will be a DreamHack Valencia. And I'm looking forward to playing Spain. Never been there to, to play StarCraft, so. And uh, Spain is nice. I mean, the weather is nice, uh, the people is friendly, so yeah. So final question, um, now that you're kind of out and you can you know, sit back and relax and just enjoy the tournament, I've already seen you on the sofa doing some commentary, and I think it was, uh, or certainly probably just hanging out and having a beer. Um, who do you think is going to win, really? I mean, what's your predictions? I hope MVP, but I spoke to him a bit and he also thinks that Terran is fucked up at the moment, so uh, most likely MC or uh, Yanghua. It's like uh, two Korean Protoss yeah. players, but MC is more consistent, so he's also a nice guy. So I hope he wins, but still rooting for MVP, so perhaps he can show me that. Yeah, uh -huh. maybe show you that there's more to Terra than meets the eye. I hope so, yeah. Okay, well that's great. Look, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks a lot. To all the people out there at Carrot.org, do stay tuned to our website. We're going to have more video interviews like this one from the Home Story Cup 5 here in Dusseldorf.